Hey, and welcome to my journey. I don't normally film on my laptop, but I'm lazy. I've been sitting in there watching TV, baking coconut pies for supper tonight, and I feel asleep, almost broke my pies. I needed to get my chat and haul video up. Well, I had a couple of other hauls that I did last week that I was just going to put together to make one video, and I deleted them. I didn't just put them in the trash on my phone. I emptied the trash. So I can't even remember. I know I got just a, a handful of things at the Walmart clearance. I went specifically. I was sitting here minding my own business, watching some videos while I was working on my journal. And I was watching this girl haul some after Christmas specials, you know, half off. She had this friend's notebook, journal, I don't know what you want to call it. I wanted it. The top tabs were the little heads, little cartoon heads, one of each character. And she showed the inside of it. And the longer I sat here, <laughs> the more I wanted that book. <laughs> Next thing you know, I just jumped up, put my clothes on, and off to Walmart I went. And y'all know I don't go to Walmart. I don't go inside Walmart. I just don't. So I, I got that. I didn't get that. I got, let me show you. The only thing I found was, uh, this is a terrible, hold on. Is that even any better? It, it comes with these little, and I noticed there's only five of them. I think that might be Rachel and not Phoebe. So the other one's missing, which I can't believe they did that. And it came with. Like this little notebook and this little notebook and these little sticky notes and a sticker that I've already had put in one of my journals and um, a pen. But I really wanted that friend's journal. I mean, I wanted it. They didn't have it. There was only one of these that they had. Now, I found the elf. Um, movie journal. I didn't want that. And then I found a ornament box to put my, um, you know, my old timey ornaments that I bought to sort them out into. And I found a brush set and hmm. Seems like there was something else. Oh, uh, coffee ca advent calendar. Different flavors and the flavors got me. The flavors got me. And then I had seemed like a a small tiny thrift haul and I can't for the life of me remember where, who, what, or when. N none of the questions. I can't remember. Um which I guess it kind of worked out because what you're fixing to see is like almost an hour. It's where me and Holly went out and stayed gone all day Friday. So, this is pretty much a long enough chat and haul as it is without the other ones to it. I got to I got to stop getting so delete happy. I lose things like that frequently. Um, I need to just start pulling them off my phone and go straight here on the computer. But anyway, what I was telling you was I was sitting in there and I fell asleep and, and I come in here to do my video and that's when I realized I had... Um, deleted those i did not feel like setting up no kind of tripod or a light or nothing i thought y'all don't care y'all understand i just want to come on here and tell you that there was more so the video clip that's coming up kind of opens up funny and and if i left it alone you'd be thinking i think she forgot part of her video <laughs> So that that's my but tonight the kids are coming. We're having our um annual New Year's Day dinner, hog jails and rice and black eyed peas and collard greens and then we're having some um coconut custard pie for dessert. I was gonna make some cornbread, but I don't need it in the house because I like cornbread and milk. And if there's ever cornbread left, and there always is because it's just me and David, I will eat every bite of it in milk until I make myself sick. And I just I just can't have it in the house because, you know, 
Tomorrow starts our new challenge. Challenge. Lose, not snooze. So we're hitting it hard tomorrow. Well, actually, the day you're watching this, if you're watching it on Monday, we're hitting it hard today. <laughs> this is Sunday that I'm sitting here talking to you right now. So we'll um, we'll get on here and we'll talk about that challenge. I don't know if we'll talk about it Friday. Maybe maybe we'll just do a little challenge update on Fridays. Or I could do it with my weigh-ins. I don't know. I, I think I'd rather keep it separate. So anyway, after this video, I guess if I take Tuesday off, I'll see you Wednesday for uh, Menu Plan Grocery Hall. Seems kind of like it's coming around quick, doesn't it? So anyway, all right. Well, that that's that's all I was going to come on here and tell you. So let's just jump on into me and Holly's big um, excursion. All right. Well, the next part of this haul is kind of big. Because let me tell you. Yesterday, Saturday, I asked Holly, did she want to go to the store? Because I wanted to go to some thrift stores. And she said she'd been itching because, you know, she wanted to get some stuff for her house. I'm like, yes, let's look. So, Nathan, um, watched Jacob, and me and her, oh my gosh, we had the best day, mommy and daughter, just the best day. We don't get to do that very often anymore. We used to do it, um, a lot more frequently, and now she's married, she's got a child, it's hard, but we had a good day yesterday. Well, let me just tell you, we traveled from city to city to city, to go to these stores. We started out getting us a coffee at Starbucks. I just got my black coffee with some cream. And we were going to go to Wanda's because... Wait a minute. No, Friday. It was Friday because I'm like, wait a minute. We wouldn't have gone to Wanda's if it was Saturday. It was Friday. This is Saturday. Because she had got some plates there that we used to have when she was little. And it just struck her. She won them, so she got them. She got four. She goes, I'll get four. She's been thinking about it. She goes, I think I want four more. I think I want eight. I'm like, well, they're there because last time I was there, they were still down there on the bottom shelf. I said, you want to go there first just to get them? She goes, yeah. So we go to Wanda's, and of all days, Wanda closed as part of her New Year's being off. So she says, no, we see it you know, after the New Year's. So I'm like, well, we'll go back. They'll be there. So that's down in Concord. We're like, well, I want to go to the DT up in Salisbury because there's some um, Valentine lace that I'm looking for. I seen it on a haul, and so it was not in um, my store because I had to go in and get something else the other day, and their Valentine stuff is not even out, just some candy. And uh, I want to go to the bigger DT, so we headed from Concord through Kannapolis, up to Salisbury. That was a good long little drive because just from my house is a half hour and we were like, well, from one is we were probably another 12 minutes from there. So, needless to say, we sat in the car a lot yesterday. I drove a lot yesterday and this was like, I guess we got going maybe at 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. And uh, so we get on up and as we're going up, I said, now there, there's this little place on the right that's like got a sign and it's never open when I have come through before. It's, it's never been open. So we got to looking. It was open. There was a car out there. There was a person. It was open. We're like, okay, well, we're going to stop there after we get through at the DT because after the DT, we were going to go to the VV in Mooresville. And that is a good half hour away from Salisbury. <laughs> so we were making a big circle around these towns, right? So we come, we, we got the DT, um, got what it got there. So we come back by, and this little place was called Linda's Consignment. I think maybe what it was, it was Linda something. Turns out people rent booths um, in there to sell their things. And their stuff was high. It was high. Um, I found one thing. Holly found one thing, but um, we went there, and then after that, we took the trek to Mooresville. So we got to Mooresville, and 
got to the VV, shopped in there, and we were going to go to the Goodwill. Because I told her, I said, now there's a Goodwill. I said, I had a lot of stuff in it when I was there. It's been a few years. I said, but I refused to go back because the aisles are so small. You can't get through. It was crowded. I couldn't, I was just, I couldn't do it. She goes, well, maybe with the two of us together, we can't. And I said, okay, well, let's go. So we head out. We have to go even farther in Mooresville to get there. Well, as we're sitting at the stoplight in the main big traffic jam intersection i just happened to glance over i said habitat she says what i said habitat she goes let's go there i'm like zoom over into the turning lane i'm like let's go so i'm like please 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 be better than the one at home because the one we go to is in salisbury which we didn't go i don't know why i didn't think while we were up there i just had vivi on the mind that's why i just i just we should have gone to that habitat we'll go next time and um so surely um they had things they did it was not um just building materials they had household things and books you know obviously i looked at the books so we were there and i was looking at the cookbooks and she went on to look at whatever she wanted to look at and there was this man standing there and um i said oh is my buggy in your way and he said no and he said, I don't even know what I'm looking for. He said, I just know when I see it. I said, I know what you mean. So we just struck up a conversation. I said, we we never been up in here. We're from Kannapolis. He goes, I am too. So, boy, we started talking. He said, you go to this um Goodwill, and then there's this Goodwill, and then you go to that Goodwill, and that's good Goodwill. It's got the good stuff. That's where the rich people live because it's up there at the lake, Lake Norman. That's where the rich people live. And, you know, they get rid of the good stuff. And he said he makes um, his rounds three times a week, and he was telling me where all he went. He, he hits the habitats, the Goodwills. He, he hits it all. So we sit there and talked a little bit. And um, when we got through, I told Holly, I said, now that man told me that there's another Goodwill past the goodwill we were going to go to. And she goes, I said, he said, that's the good one. She she goes, well, let's go to that one. I'm like, okay, let's go to that one. So we had to go even deeper into Mooresville. Down where I've never been before. I've never been that far down that road that you go on to get to the VV. And then you get down, stop at a couple other little places. But I'm, oh my, here comes one up. I've never been that far, right? As we're going down in the little gully, she goes, there's a Dollar Tree. I'm like, what? And she goes, looks kind of big. I'm like, well, and it was late. We knew, it was already at that time, um, 4.30. Cause we were talking about, we would have to hurry up at that Goodwill or maybe it was four o'clock cause we would be in the five o'clock traffic and that traffic it even made um, news the other week about how people are blocking those intersections. It's terrible traffic. Terrible. It's, it's murder. So we're like, okay, we'll try to get out because we're going to be stuck in it. So we gone down. We get to that Goodwill. Ooh, he was right. It was a good Goodwill. She found her a lot of stuff for her house. We, we already had a buggy full. She got like oversized things too. We had a buggy full of stuff. Before we even got off the first aisle that we looked at, we were not even fully down that aisle t till we we were sharing a buggy. So <laughs> we got stuff there, and we went through, and it was getting close. So she goes, "You gonna have time to get Diddy's um, food?" I'm like, I, "I think I'll have time." So we stopped at the DT, and oh, there was two things I left in there. I'll just tell you what they are. We just got a snack to eat coming down the road, and I found two things. That's all we got, a drink and a snack to eat coming down the road, because we were starving. We ate lunch at 11 o'clock. We had Wendy's. We ate Wendy's on the way to Salisbury, and we had not eaten another thing. We were starving, so we got a snack. And when we were trying to, it looked like you couldn't in the traffic. Oh, my gosh. Trying to get out of the Goodwill, you had to cross traffic, and it was just enough traffic to where you could hardly get through and when i finally made it and we got down to the dollar tree i'm like how are we going to get out of here are we going to have the same trouble and i thought i said saw the sign that says you can't make a left turn i'm like oh we gotta make a left turn or are we gonna have to go make another u-turn we had to make a u-turn earlier on that road she goes well, let me pull it up and see so when she pulled it up the map girl started telling us she was going to reroute us because there was an accident it was going to save us seven minutes 
So I'm going to tell you what. She took us through the country of Mooresville and back. I mean to tell you, she run. We run across the lake. We we run across the interstate. Everything. She took us back. Oh my gosh! But she took us right back to the the main road that we go to get there. So if she says she saved us seven minutes, I'm guessing she saved us seven minutes. We weren't having to sit in that traffic and cuss and carry on because people was blocking the intersection and we couldn't get through. That <laughs> that was nice. So. When to get her home, we come down the the highway that turns to come to my house. I said, "Well," and I'm gonna tell you what we had that car packed, back seat and trunk packed. I said, "I'm gonna swing by the house, and you can help me get this stuff in. We'll just put it down in a big room, and I'll just sort it out tomorrow. Cause whatever she buys for the house, she's just leaving over here, um, till it gets ready, and then she'll take it down there." Well, she found at, um, which store was it? Oh, the VV in Mooresville. She found Jacob a little kitchen, a little, it looks like little tykes, but it's step two. Step two? Gosh, it looked brand new. None of the stickers on it, like for the front of the appliances, it was not faded, scratched, dirty, nothing. It looked brand new. Twelve dollars and twelve cents. So she says, "I'm getting it." She goes, "I'm getting it." I'm like, "Yes, you better get it." So that took up a lot of space in the back, but that don't mean that was the only thing in the back. Let me just tell you, I got, I just got. Oh my gosh, we just got stuck. Oh, mm -mm. before we went to Salisbury, we went to see that. I just happened to look down and see that picture. Y'all gonna laugh when y'all see what I bought, but that's all right. Y'all are to know me by now to know that. Don't be trying to. Figure me out. <laughs> Went to C Van because when I go to one, as I go to C Van, and um, she don't ever get to go in there. She found her some things in there. Listen, we didn't hit on a big mother load of oh, these are hot prices. We we can't help it. But we bought something in every store we went in. So we were laughing about that coming down the road. Yeah, maybe we didn't hit on the the big um, bargains. But we bought something in every store we went in. So I'm going to try to see if I can go in order. I went to um, I went to the VV and the Goodwill this morning just because I had to go to Target to get a um, broom and a, a garbage can. And then I picked up a couple other things because what happens when you're in Target, you pick up a couple other things. And since I was on that side of town, I went to that Goodwill that was over there and I wanted to look at the clothes. And I found a couple things in there. And then... I didn't get to go to um, our VV down here. We just, it just did not work out for the day. As busy. When we got back last night, it was, oh gosh, 6.30. I get David up at 7.30. He eats at 8. So it was 6.30, I guess. I had to come in the door and just start cooking. So I, I made him some sketty. Instead of my smother, well, it was after 6.30 because I think I would have had time to make the enchiladas. It was close to 7. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, so I just made skating. Anyway. Um, so I did want to go to the VB just to see because I found a skirt at the Goodwill. And I want to see if I can find a shirt at the VV, which I didn't. But I think I'll, I think I'll have something to wear with it. Um, anyway. So I'm going to try to go in order. If um, I can think. So the first place we went, I think that's what I got right here, was C-Van. So I found these two little things. I've never seen these before. These are 99 cents a peach. Pe a piece, a pre-made page pad. So that one's black and white. And it's made by Bow Bunny. Romance and Holly Jolly. And then Christmas. It says, oh, so they're just little, it's stuck on one side. It's never been used. If you can see, it's little um, different pads and things you cut out and whatnot. So there was that one and then this one that was the, oh, there's the stickers, I guess, the black and white. I thought that was worth 99 cents. And then, you know, this was just screaming. I, 
Duck and Hines Bake Shop in a Book. Let me see what the... Because it's yellowed. You know, that stuff gets me. 1979. I don't know what these um, months things back here are for unless you're supposed to... Peachy Lemon Cake, Pineapple Orange Tort, Raspberry Pound Cake. I don't know what the... Um, I don't know. Maybe you. Maybe it tells you when to. I don't know. Oh, there's a shamrock cake. But you know, I couldn't pass that up. That kind of stuff, it just, it gets me. What can I say? And you know, Campbell's is one of my new collections I'm working on. Quick and easy. And then I found this. Their books are, what did I tell you before? 99 cents or something like that. This, I found, was all bundled together. A whole big bundle of construction paper. All kind of colors. Yes, $3.99. Definitely worth that. But they had it. Somebody, I guess when they donated, they had it bundled up with this ribbon. I guess. But anyway, it was definitely worth it to me. Let me set this down here. Kind of get some of this stuff out of the way. And then I found this. It was a little hefty. $4.99. But it is a... Oh, I didn't notice I had lizards. Look, it's got turtles and snakes. And look at the lizards. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. But it is somebody's um, organized scrapbook papers. So, I, I mean, it, that's high for me for a thrift store. But for $4.99, that is definitely 100% $4.99 worth of scrapbook paper. That's a bargain if you go to buy that brand new. And then, let's see. Oh, that's all I got from C-Van. Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> Holly... We were looking at pictures, and, and, I, and there was some in a box, and I flicked through there. And when I seen this, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I was just like, I love that. She goes, yeah, it's your vibe. She said, I can see it in your craft room. I'm like, I can too. I said, daddy going to go. He, she said, he's just going to roll his eyes and just be like, well, if that's what you like. Because <laughs> he, he don't care. It is, and it was made... Ben Franklin Frame Shop down in Kannapolis at the Cloverleaf it used to be the craft store down there, and this was in 2014. So somebody had it framed, but it was $3.99. Oh, it's good and heavy too. $3.99. Look at that. How cool is that? That is so cool. I don't care if it is cigarettes. Y'all know I used to smoke. I like smoking too. I used to smoke Marlboro Lights. Mm, yes, I did. One of the many, listen, what I smoked was anything I could get is what I smoked. But I just think that is the coolest picture. And I think it's Christmas. Caesar's greetings on the um each one of the cigarette boxes. It says, in addition to diamonds and sports cars and mink, sing cartons of greetings from Philip Morris, Inc. And see, we had a Philip Morris plant that's now gone. Down in Concord. So, that's part of our history. So, yes, it is going in my craft room. So, there you go. Figure me out now. Okay, then let's see. We left the sea van Shh. Dollar Tree. Okay, let me show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. I haven't bought any um, flowers in a long time because... I, I have a lot of flowers, but I hadn't really seen anything that tripped my trigger. These tripped my trigger. Aren't those pretty? They are called Farmhouse Wax Flower Bush. But they had them. Well, I'm not, they're stuck together. The pink colors, the green colors, the white colors, and the purplish. They look kind of blue on camera, but they're, they're really a purplish. Aren't those pretty? 
I like those. I'm thinking they might um, go in there in my vase that I have on that tray that I bought, that metal tray with the glass, the round one. I'm thinking I might change the greenery that's in that with some of this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to drag this stuff over here, so I'll be right back. Okay. So the only thing, they still had their Christmas stuff out too. They did have a little bit of Valentine's, which I'll show you, but they had their Christmas stuff out. So for 50 cents, they had one, two, three, they had four of these. And I got all four of them because for 50 cents, if the urge hits that I need to do something with these little green stems, then I'm going to have them. So I got those. And I got um, some other stickers. They had these. These are new stickers. You know, it's very rare. I told you they put out new stickers that I don't have. These, they had little birds that I got at the other Dollar Tree. I left them in there on the bar. So, I thought those were awful pretty. And then, these were new. I didn't have them. So, I got them. Pretty, um, alphabet. And then, these I just got because they have been out forever and a day. And this is the pins me and David write with. He, he uses these for work. Six of them in his shirt pocket, coat pocket, whatever. But these are our favorite pins. And they have been out. And I had to get some other kind. But when I saw them, I thought I better get two of them. Because we go through them kind of quickly. I use them in my craft room and he uses them for work. This I got. I got me one and Holly one. It's a little letter board. You can hang it. But I think I'm going to prop it up in there in my kitchen. Now, I think these are probably... Probably a heavy cardboard, um, if they're even heavy. Probably, I'm guessing. You could, um, I don't know. Oh, okay, well, you can see it's going to be that thin because they slide in. They don't just rest in there. They slide through the little um, slots there on the side. So I don't know what I'm going to have mine say, but it says it's got 124 letters. So hopefully... It'll be able to say whatever I feel like making it say. Then I did get this. I think this was in the Valentine's. Vanilla and peony hand cream. Because I needed a lotion in my little pocketbook. When I don't carry my big pocketbook. I keep reaching to get me a lotion for my hands. Because they're so dry and I don't have one. And I hope this don't ugh, give me the eebie-jeebies. Because I can't use just any lotion on my hands. So we shall see. But I hadn't smelled them. But I figured they probably smell good. Vanilla and peony. Oh, and this. Oh, where my one go? This. Check these out. The little bees, little wood bees. These are over there where the flower pots and stuff is. And little wood um, ladybugs. Speaking of a ladybug. This is called Chat and Hall, so there you go. When I was getting my legs wrapped Thursday, I was sitting there and I had two nurses in there. They was both of them doing it. And um, I seen something flying, and I, I done one of them things. I said, what's that? I got to look, and it was a ladybug. And we was talking about how confused that ladybug was. It don't even know what season it is. <laughs> there was a ladybug inside. In the end of December, with freezing cold weather, that's turning into 60 degree weather, which is raining today. It's just lovely. It's lovely. So, yeah. That was funny. We're like, that little thing is confused. So anyway, I got those. I thought those were awful cute. And these are pretty. I don't know if these will be too thick. Can you kind of see to go in my journals or not? But they're just awful pretty. What are they called? Sticky paper flowers. Look how pretty those are. That's the two different color sets they had. So I got one of each. And that was in the Valentine section. And then they had some ribbons. They didn't have the ribbon I wanted that I seen hauled. But they did have um, a couple things that I got. They had these. little. It's called garland. But you could use it in craft and decorations. Not just like stringing it as garland. You know what I mean. You see the different colors. How much is on that? Two yards. So that's plenty. And then these. These absolutely can be used in the junk journal. Just glued down. Um, three yards of these. I thought those were pretty. The one I'm looking for is a lace 
but it's shaped like hearts. Just the it's the whole thing is hearts, and it's it's white lace. I've got I, I'm I'm gonna hunt until I find it. Let me tell you, I'm gonna find it. So we left the Dollar Tree, and we went to that store called Linda's, and I found this. It's just called Think Christmas. It is a the Junior League of the City of Washington Inc. 19 the first print in 1970 and the fifth print in 1978 so I'm guessing this is a 1978 if that's how you read this would not be a first print if it has 78 printed inside of it so I'm thinking since there was nothing printed after 78 in the dates this would be a 1978 book right is that how you do that? I don't know. Anyway, it was just interesting to me. Decorations, gifts, and recipes. And it's just got... Oh, oyster casserole. Ooh. Listen, my Aunt Lindor, she used to make the best oyster dressing on the planet. Oh, my gosh. It was so doggone good. Well, I wouldn't get to have a pan of that oyster dressing. Whew, it was good. But it's just got... Just little things... Uh, look, present pillars, sachets, candy trees, just, just old timey stuff, but just something that interested me. And so, okay, let me put that down here. Then we left there and we went to the VV. What did I get in the VV? Oh, I didn't get much. They didn't have much. Um, Holly got more than I got. Now, mind you, all this I, that I got, she she got her own stuff too. But I did find this for two dollars and fifty cents. Oh, that little book I just showed you was two dollars. It's um a long sleeve and it's got like a fake undershirt down the tail at the bottom, and that would match my blue skirt perfectly. I haven't tried it on yet, but it says it's a three X. We'll see. But it went but two dollars and fifty cents. So, I'm going to give that a try. I thought that was pretty. I'll put that over there because I'm going to wash that and the other thing up. And then I found this little, I don't know. I'll write your name in the box. But it's it, she was looking at pictures for um, books for Jacob. She said he already has a whole library, but she can't help herself. I said, I hope it makes him want to read. She said, that's what I'm hoping. He brings her book, and she'll read it. He brings her book, and brings her book, brings her book. And we're hoping it instills a, a love of reading for him. Because we wish we had it. But anyway, you put your name on it. It says, Blank is not sleepy. Kim is not sleepy. But I just happened to see it, and it's just little owls. So, you know, I'm going to rip this book up and use it in my junk journals with all these little owl pictures and whatnot. You better know it for 69 cents. And then I found uh, one one whole magazine and this the Garden Club Cookbook Meats. This is the style of a couple of cookbooks that I have. It's just the old. Let me see what year it is, because you know, and just it smells old. <laughs> Let's see. It is what year? My hands are so dry, I can't get a hold of it. Oh, a 1968. 1968. Yeah, that's all up. That is all up in my alley. Mm -hmm. So I got that. And that was all I got at the VV. So from the VV, we went to the Goodwill. The good Goodwill. Hold on, let me pull this stuff up here close to me. Okay, so we was looking at stuff. I told you we was looking and already had the buggy piled up. And then I just happened, went around the corner and I seen that like a back hallway where the bathrooms is to their back room, they had books. So I found some books. They weren't sorted out like, you know, everything together. You just had to look at everything. But here is a Mr. Foods that I did not have. Fun kitchen tips and shortcuts and recipes, too. So I didn't have that one. And then here's a Campbell's I didn't have. It's old. 100 best recipes from probably, who knows. Let's guess. I'm going to say 1969. Oh, there's not a, a 
date in it. Oh, the smell. If y'all can smell this book. I'm just here to tell I'm just here to tell you if you can smell this book. No, there ain't no date in it. Man, what do you know? It's old, I can tell you that. You know how I know it's old? Because don't nobody make aspic no more. <laughs> Has it got made or soup in it? Yep, uh-huh, it does. I knew it. The cheese layer is an envelope of unflavored gelatine, milk, cottage cheese, cucumber, and onion. And the aspic layer is unflavored gelatin, water, tomato soup, lemon juice, dill, and shrimp. Mmm. <laughs> nope. Still need the cookbook, though. And then I used my picture. Did not have this one the year 2010. Taste of home slow cooker. So I had my pictures and every time I add a new and I take a new picture and I consulted, I, I took good pictures now and made them closer where I can read them better and maybe not mix up that I didn't have something, thinking I didn't have something when I did have it. So anyway, I got that. And then this I just got, I, I just saw the, the hints from Heloise. And so I knew it was like, you know, hints from Heloise because everybody remembers that. But look, look how dingy. You see how dingy? Now this says, First time in paperback. The $12.95 hardcover bestseller. The most comprehensive practical household handbook ever. So, this is... Let's see, does it have a date? Copyright 1980. So, first Avon printing, April 1981. 1974 was the first oh that's got something to do with Metropolitan Life Insurance Company oh I don't know anyway this is the first time it came in the um paperback well here it says Heloise box it's got her address so I guess whoever's book this was you could write Heloise I guess well this is what got me I thought oh I, I was just looking through there. I'm like, okay, here's what got me. Let me see if I can find a page. Hold on. Okay, there, there's one. Handwritten by whoever owned this book. She wrote in her own tips and tricks. Look, look. Look at that. Do y'all know how giddy that gets me? <laughs> that gets me. Let's see what she says. Look for straight leg pants. Pants that taper an inch or two from knee to hem. The slimmer the trouser leg, the better. Don't know why, but that's what she says. The ideal shirt length is one and a half inches below the, the knee. That must be skirt. Skimming the back of the leg where the calf begins to decurve in nylon net pom-poms listen i had to get it. there's some more there's there's some more and it's just so dirty looking and and yellowed see all throughout this book is where this woman has written stuff and oh this is warning it's about a gas water heater oh so i don't know where she came up with um homemade better than store-bought recipe oh look here this was in an article. Let's see, does it have a date? Something picky in the state's item. Homemade better than store-bought recipe book says. There's multi-purpose polish, vegetable oil cleaner, scented deodorant, and saddle soap. Uh-huh. Check it out. How cool is that? So, yeah. This is the kind of stuff that this gets me. So, I got it. But I wonder if that was like some of her stuff she was adding to it. Or maybe she watched Heloise on talk shows or something. And Heloise told stuff and she wrote it down in here. I don't know. But it is worth a, a look-see for me. 
And then look what I found for $2. Some more cookie cutters. I couldn't tell what they were in there. But for my Christmas tree, there you go. That's a whole bunch of them for $2. And it's got some of the different colored ones in there. So I was real thrilled with that fun. Check this out for, I think, $2. Yes, look at these. All these pretty, they had two bags of it. I figured one bag was a plenty. Look at all these pretty pumpkins. I will put them up and pull them out next fall. $2. You can't beat that, honey. This right here, it didn't have no price on it. But see, it's just a whole bunch of packs of stickers. So I got up there and I told her, I say, I think that's a stencil on the back. Uh, that's a stencil on the back. I told her, I said, there was no um, sticker on that. She goes, that's one dollar. She, she's very, um, on everything that we had, we had a few things that didn't have a price tag on it. One dollar. <laughs> so I got a bunch of stickers that I don't know what are in there for a dollar. I don't know how much these were because I forgot to tell her they didn't have one. So I don't know what she charged me. I didn't even look at my ticket. But it's two of the old Tupperware cereal bowls. They had four of them. Two of them were all beat up inside. They had been microwaved and mess. And these two actually looked decent. This stuff takes me back. I can't help it. Can't help it. Now this is more than I really wanted to pay. But I really wanted it. Just because it's old school, it's butterflies, it's just got that vibe of I just needed. It was four dollars. This and it's got the little and see I've got one over there on my counter now. It's a little crate from the Dollar Tree that I decorated, and I have um things that I might make frequently. I don't want to pull a cookbook out for. I just pull a little recipe card out. So I just got this to replace it. I just I just couldn't help it. So you beat up. Boy, somebody used it. Oh, love it. Love it. Then, you know, I am a sucker for anything North Carolina. I'm a, I'm a sucker. You don't find, living in North Carolina, you think you'd find more North Carolina things, but you just don't. So when I saw this, it was $6. It, that, that's more than I, I normally pay for something. But it's this plaque with North Carolina. I'm going to read it to you. North Carolina, the Tar Heel State. First in flight, beautiful mountains and beaches where tea is sweet, accents are sweeter, pearls and flip-flops are staples, long tobacco farm fields, wide front porches, friendly folks and people with good manners. The days are warm and faith is strong. Every con conversation starts with y'all and ends with blessing hearts. It's a place that will get in your blood and call you back wherever you go. Amen to that because I love being, I've told y'all before, I love being North Carolinian. I love being from North Carolina. I love North Carolina. Born and bred, and I'm proud of it. So, I don't know where I'm going to hang this yet, but I will find somewhere. It's a good heavy, heavy board, too. And then I found this. <laughs> I found this. I couldn't help it. I told Holly, I said, this is tacky. She goes, it's actually pretty cute. I'm like, well, I think it is. Well, let me show you the bottom first. It's supposed to have a light in it, but that was all gone. So that's why it was only $4. See, it is a like a log. But check it out. Hold on. Ta-da! You know, I told you I'm redecorating. This is going in there on my shelves under my TV somewhere. I don't know where it's going to fit. At $4. But you can see that back there. That's where it lit up. So if I wanted to, I could put some kind of battery operated light up in there. Turn it off and on if I felt you know, so compelled to do so. But look at those owls. Look at them. OMG, they're so stinking cute. So, yes. Yes, I bought it. Yes, I did. And then I bought this, which I think I'm going to hang it right back here because I don't have anything on that wall. There used to be before um, um, Sebastian came along, there was a bulletin board up there and I took it down because it was over his head where the bed is and the little hangers are still there so I think I'm just going to stick it on one of those hangers but anyway it's quilted isn't that I wish I had somewhere in the living room for it but I really don't isn't that pretty so on the back and it, I poked this anyway, anyway, it was framed somebody made it it says Tom and Dorcas and I can't read the last name 
Coderus, Pennsylvania, 1988, hearts. The pattern is hearts. So somebody made this in 1988 for, I guess, Tom and Dorcas. Or either, I wouldn't think it would be Tom and Dorcas that made it. Because you wouldn't, normally two people wouldn't make that. But anyway, it was only $4. $4 was their main price. A lot of things we bought were $4. A lot of things Holly bought was $4. So that was all that I got at the, um, let me look. Yeah, that's all I got at the Goodwill. That that was my biggest haul right there. So, oh, hold up. Hold up. And did I miss a store? Okay, let me. Oh, the Habitat. Yeah, I missed the Habitat. Before we went to the good, we went to the Habitat. I'm like, wait a minute, I see a stack of books. That's the only thing I got. I probably got some other stuff, but I got these. Um, making your own gourmet coffee drinks. There was a few little interesting sounding things in there. And then this, just because I like the style of it, is Hogan's Best Recipe Secrets Expand Committee Nursing Department. Hogan Regional Center, and I don't know... It says, Aunt, Aunt Jean gave me this cookbook. But I don't know. It says to Hogan employees for their commitment and hard work. But I don't know where that is. But it's just. <laughs> that kind of book. Like that. So, I liked it. Because we know I have a problem with cookbooks. And it... Where am I sitting? There's not a secret. It's not a secret. I didn't have this one. Fix and forget it cookbook. Revised and updated. Did not have it. I looked at the spine with the picture of the ones I have because I collect these. Did not have this one. Very rarely do I find one of these I don't have. I'm sure there are some. I've not researched it. But I don't find them very often. And I can't remember how much their books were. There were different prices, and they had a sign. The proceeds from their book sales went to something specific. So I didn't really mind paying a little extra for books there than I normally would pay at maybe some of my other stores. And then here's a Campbell's Kitchen um, cookbook, a Campbell's book, because, you know, Campbell's. And then I didn't have this one, Sandra Lee. Semi homemade grilling two. I don't even think I have grilling one. I do. I have grilling, and then here's grilling two. I've got to um, make room for it because <laughs> that chef, the Sandra Lee chef, and the Joanna Lund chef, you can't get a, another thing in there. Not another thing. So anyway, that was from the Habitat store, and then let's see from today. Oh. When I went to Goodwill, while I was over at Side Town, you know, well, I got this. It was two ninety nine, which is mm, I'll put my own straws in it, you know. But I was wanting something because I'm I'm wanting iced coffee again. I, I got out of it there for a while, but then I got the taste back for it, and I wanted a, a cup for it. And look, it's stainless steel, so that ought to hold it good. You know, it's not marked. There's not. It's not like a name brand or anything. And I'm thinking I'm gonna cricket my monogram on there. I bought that pretty flarity vinyl to monogram on a coffee cup, and I never did. So I'm thinking now I'm gonna monogram on this. Yes. So I got that from my iced coffee, and then I got this. I have not even opened it up. It it was expensive. It was five ninety nine, but there are stamps. And stamp pads in it. So. Oh there's a D. D for David. Oh what do you know. So I thought. I'd just get it. Why not. And then I found this. Um, skirt. And I tried it on. It's a little snug on the hips. It's a 3X. The 3X tops fit me better than the 3X bottoms. Because I'm still bigger on the bottom. Than I am on the top. But I found out why somebody got rid of it. I don't know. But anyway, let me show you the, I thought it was a pretty pattern, but you see the elastic is straight, 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 and then right here, 
it twists so I don't know if you can tell can you tell see how it's twisted right there so I know that's why somebody got rid of it they weren't going to take the time to fix it and quite frankly probably I won't either and then oh my nose itches I got this I love this and I did try this one on over my clothes and it fits over my clothes so I know it's going to fit um, without a shirt and um, shorts on under it. But it is from Old Navy. Old Navy. And the size is 2X. Look at that. Okay. I'm not lying. Check it out. I, I thought, I don't know if it's going to fit or not. But I love the dress. I love the style. I'll hold on to it in warm weather if it don't fit. But it's, it's a sundress. Now, I'll wear a, a little jacket over it. But look how it's made. If you can tell, it's tiered. I don't know how did that show up pretty good. I don't know. It's in that it's the cutest, most adorable little dress. Even at my size, it's adorable. <laughs> What can I say? That will be so cute with my little white sweater jacket on over it, which I'll be wearing it while I'm getting my legs done. You know, I'm not waiting till spring weather. I'm tired of wearing the same thing every day. Every time I go out, I told you, you know what I got. I got that flaherty dress and then the, the blue skirt, which I've been looking for shirts to go over, which I have found a couple shirts to go over. So that changes the look. And then there's a skirt, which I think I have a top. I think I might have a top to match. I'm, it seems like I had a black top at one time, and I can't remember if I still have it or not. Um, if I do, it's too big. I'll have to run it through the dryer. I do know that because it was already kind of too big um, when I had started losing weight before I lost all this much weight. So anyway, oh well, that's that's my, my chat and haul today. I don't even remember what I've already filmed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll tell you what. Me and Holly had the best time. We just had the best time. So she's getting excited about moving. David's down there working. He, he's he's getting his things done. He needs to get done. And she she's just excited. She's excited and ready to, ready to get out and get her little... Um, home going she's wanting to plant a garden because we see so we got well she'll have two acres her her house is on two, two acres and then there's four acres we, we own four acres of a field in front of it <laughs> she's like where can i put a garden i said honey you can put it anywhere you want out there you got you got four acres pick pick that's where we used to garden out there on that. When we would make our big gardens. I told her, I said, I don't know. I said, with me feeling better, being able to get around better um, as as I go, you know, maybe between the two of us, if we, if we could somehow get Daddy to go down there and till it and help us plant it and everything, if me and you could keep it up, we could have um garden, feed our families. I mean, it's just you two and then us two, you know, I said, maybe we'll have to talk to Diddy about that. He, we call him Diddy. He he, he named himself D. Diddy. <laughs> you know, P. Diddy. David D. Diddy. Years ago, when Holly was way, way back in younger in school, he called himself D. Diddy. We was talking about some so from, from that day forward, when I referred to her daddy, very rarely do I say daddy or your daddy. I'll say Diddy. Diddy said, Diddy this, Diddy that, Diddy that. So next time you see David up on the tag, say, how you doing, Diddy? D Diddy. Speaking of the tags, we're going to start doing them once a month. Sandy's going to, um, over Life with Sandy, she's um, going to help Tracy out because Tracy's um, doing schooling and stuff for her job and taking tests. And she, she's got a lot on her for that. And so um, Sandy said she would um, take over putting it together and do it once a month. And we, we all agreed once a month was doable. So I think next week is the first one for um, January. So 
stop on by and say hey to Dee Diddy. Okay, well, that is it for chat and haul today. And I guess you're seeing this on Monday, so that means today was the first day of Stews Don't Loot. <gasps> Lose Don't Snooze. Don't do it the other way. Lose Don't Snooze. It's our first day. We're hitting it hard today. We're, we're, we're going at it. I'll tell you, I am. I'm foreseeing the future. I'm sitting here in front of this camera on Saturday, and I'm foreseeing the future on Monday that I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it, and, and we're going to do this thing. We're going to motivate each other. So, okay. Well, that, that's all I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say today. I'm going to start going to put some of this stuff up. I think I'll do some laundry and get my, get my new clothes all cleaned and ready to wear. So, that'll do it for me today. I hope you have a good no, I hope you had because after you see this, it will already be the first of the year. It'll be the new year. This is New Year's Eve. We're not doing anything. We never do. It's a very rare occasion. We're even awake to see the new year come in. That's the honest truth. So we're just going to have our supper. and We'll have our little cheese and crack. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to buy crackers. Well, sir, what am I going to do about that? Am I going to have to put clothes on and go to the store just to get crackers? Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> that's a huge bummer. Oh. Maybe I'll run up to the Dollar General. Maybe they'll have some crackers. Easier to get in and out of the Dollar General than it is the food line. So, anyway, that's all. That's all I'm going to talk about. Um, so, I, I'll see you on my next video. 